What's up everybody? Today we are doing a review of the Noble Runners in the Arctic knit and reflective version. We headed out to Whistler, British Columbia just a couple hours from my place to hit up the lakes and the trails for three days and to put these shoes to the test. We did get a pair of both women's as well as the men's versions for the shoe, so for this review I will be sporting the men's version while my partner will be sporting the women's version. And just a heads up, we did run into a bunch of different types of terrain, from rocky trails to snow, slush, and ice. But we also got to test these shoes out on pavement and grass. Now it's time to find out how well these shoes held up as we head out to the trails of Whistler. We started out from Whistler Village where we took the trails towards Lost Lake. We did encounter small patches of snow and ice along the way. This was an excellent opportunity to start running and test the grip of these shoes. To be honest, they did pretty well. They did a good job of gripping the snow and ice. We did have a few slips, but no falls, and overall the shoes performed quite well in the snow. I think the embossed triangular pattern that stretches from the heel to the toe of the shoe did a great job of keeping balance during those icy patches along the trail. But they also do come with some cons that we will discuss later in the video. These shoes really showcase their performance on pavement. As soon as we started running on this paved area, they felt super smooth and I think these shoes are really balanced whether you use them for walking, running, or jogging. The heel to toe curvature of the shoe really helped our movement and added some momentum to our stride. This aspect was especially emphasized when walking down hills. As you can see, the heel to toe of the shoe has an added angle and edge to it which really found its way nicely into the groove of the slope of the trails. It was these minor elements to the shoes that added up to create big differences in comfort when walking and running along the trails. We didn't get a chance to test the reflective aspect of the shoes on the trails itself, but don't worry, I will be showing footage of that later in this video. Now that we've taken three days to run, jog, and walk in these shoes, it's time to pack them up and say goodbye to Whistler so we can further break down all of the pros and cons of the Noble Runners back at my office. Let's first start off with the overall design of the shoe, because this is one element that I really liked right off the bat. I appreciate the modest look of the shoe, but I also like the knit texture to the mesh material, which also adds a unique element that makes the shoe stand out in its modesty. My partner liked everything about the shoe, other than the sleeve of the shoe, which we had issues with, um, but for differing reasons. She felt it was too tight around her ankles, but other than that, she had no other complaints about the shoe, and she actually really liked them a lot. And this is where our opinions differ, because I found a few problems with the Noble Runners. For one, I did notice the weight of the shoe seemed to be on the heavier side than all of my other running shoes, including my trail running shoes. For a runner made mostly of mesh type material, you would think that the shoes would be fairly light. It also has a thicker base and is bottom heavy. It's not like these shoes weigh 10 pounds or anything, but you'll definitely notice a difference if you have used lightweight runners in the past. Earlier I'd mentioned the pattern of the bottom of the shoe kept traction quite well in the snow and ice. The counter to that argument is that the grooves in the patterns also cause pebbles to get stuck in them quite easily. Specifically on the trails where small pebbles or rocks or dirt are common, I actually had this happen a few times where at one point I had to use a spoon to actually get a pebble out as it was jammed too tightly in the little crevice. Other issues I had with this corner pocket bulge thing that was happening right here. I noticed my girlfriend also had it, but where my pinky toe and the side of my foot were rubbing into this portion of the shoe, it was causing like quite a lot of pain after a few days. Um, and my pinky toe started hurting. So, I, I mean, it was a couple days later and we were using the shoes for a few days, so keep that in mind. I don't know if that's part of the shoe's design, but it did start to irritate me with prolonged use of the shoe. I do not recommend using these for everyday activity or prolonged use. Now we can discuss my issue with the sleeve portion of the shoe. It looks like it would be super comfortable and easy to slip on, except I always have to undo my laces to put on the shoe, which is one thing I don't have to do with my other runners. And maybe I'm being nitpicky here, but I feel like this all plays into user experience. The other problem with the sleeve is that when you put your foot into the shoe, the edges of the sleeves actually roll inwards and then you have to manually flip them back up. So it's just little issues like that that became a nuisance. 
The laces that come with the shoes are also really thick. I don't know if that's just to complement the style of the shoe, but personally I would have rather had regular laces or thin laces. The issue with these thick laces is that they might come undone uh, quite easily compared to thinner laces. And the reflective knit is where this shoe essentially hit a 10 out of 10. Noble hit this category out of the ballpark, as the reflection of the shoes are insane. Even in the video that you're seeing right now, it does not do justice to how reflective these shoes can get. I've dedicated these as my nighttime running shoes, especially in the fall and winter in Vancouver because it gets so dark here so quick. And simply because of how well the reflective knit pattern works. Like, as soon as there's light hitting it, it just reflects in that direction. If you're looking for something that is great for running at night, or you only plan to use these shoes to run on pavement or on a track or maybe on a treadmill, then these shoes might be for you. I do not recommend them for trails with rocks and pebbles at all. That being said, Noble has only recently started to create these running shoes, whereas before they had focused their efforts on trainers. I'm sure we're going to see Noble continue to create new runners with more details perfected in the new, near future. In fact, I believe they've released a new set of runners this year as well. Let me know if you've got these shoes or if you plan on buying them. How do they feel on you? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Leave your comments down below for everybody to read. If you've enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.